Hey York Explorers, Mr. Ord here, and today we're going to be learning about equivalent fractions. Now the first thing uh, that I'd like us to focus on is figuring out what does this word equivalent actually mean. And equivalent means equal. So really what we're talking about is fractions that are equal to one another. And uh, two fractions are equivalent if they take up the same amount of space or they're at the same point on a number line. Uh, the first thing that I really want us to focus on is this part right here. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Uh, this. So two fractions are equivalent if they take up the same amount of space. Uh, that's the one we're going to focus on and I want to uh, show you really what that means. So we'll move this up a little bit right there and we're going to first look at these two fractions. Um, is one half equivalent to two fourths? Okay and you've been working with some of the bar models um, earlier and that is one of the most effective ways to figure out if fractions are equivalent. Uh, so we're going to start with modeling one half. So I'm move this up over that and cut this in half. Shade in one out of two pieces. So I'm shade this in. Okay. Now our next one to model is two fourths. And I want you to notice that I tried to make sure that these were almost exactly lined up. Getting the length, um, getting the length so that they're equal is really important. Uh, this is going to be two fourths. I'm going to start here. I'm going to copy this line actually down because I can use halves to help me build fourths. So now I've got this cut in half. Now if I take each side and I cut those in half, it will be fourths. So I'll cut this side in half, this side in half. Now, now I'm going to shade in two out of four pieces. That's one. There's two. Hey, and if we come here, they take up the same amount of space. Okay, so let's try another one. Move this up. The next one that we're going to look at is two thirds. Two thirds is that equivalent to four six. We're going to use the bar models to help us out. Go like this. Two thirds. Uh, thirds can be a little bit tougher to make because there's nothing that helps you. Uh, it, it's the starter one. Uh, so the way I make thirds is I start in the middle, go a little bit to the left, come back to the middle, go a little bit to the right, and there is thirds. So I'm going to shade in two out of three. Okay, and our next fraction, four, six. So we'll come down here, go like this. I'm focused on making sure that those lengths are lined up as best as I can. I know this one's a little bit off to the left. So now I'm going to copy these lines straight down. And then, oops, I forgot this. It's four, six. Now what I can do is I have thirds here. So if I cut each one of these in half, That'll make six for me. So I'll cut this one in half, this one in half, this one in half. And I have six pieces, so now I'm going to shade in four out of six. So there's one, two, three, and four. And you can see they take up the same amount of space. Now there's another resource that I want to show you. Uh, usually if you were at York, we would have you also use fraction tiles uh, to model equivalent fractions. 
uh, but unfortunately, we're not at York. Uh, so I'm going to show you the next best thing to help you with equivalent fractions. Okay, instead of fraction tiles, um, this is what we're going to use to help us out with equivalent fractions. This is the interactive fraction wall. And how this works is uh, you don't want to mess with any of the buttons up here. Um, so if you click here, this is one, and it shows you one there. If you click there, there's one half, and then two fourths, and each of these rows is a different fraction. Now, if you left click on them, again, they disappear. Uh, so I'm going to bring this up so that you can see. Uh, let's just kind of show this one on here. Uh, one half and two fourths. Okay, so if we come here, uh, we're going to find, well, that's one. Okay, there's one half and it's telling me over there and once again it was one half and two fourths so we'll come back to this the fourths are right below it there's four pieces there's one fourth I need one more and there is two fourths so you can see here that these fractions are equivalent because they take up the same amount of space one half is equivalent to two fourths uh, the one button that you can use up here though is this one that will clear everything. Okay, so now I'm going to move this so you can see it. I'm going to come over here. Uh, this was the other one that we did right here. That was my mouse. Uh, two thirds and four sixths. So again, we'll come back to this. Got to find the thirds now. Uh, here's the eighths. There's one fourth. Hey, there we go. So it was two thirds. And it's showing it right there. Now, four sixths. And it looks like the six are right below it. So it's telling me right there two six, three six, and four six. And hey, this shows that these fractions are equivalent. Okay, I want to show you what you're going to be working on today. I'm going to clear this out uh, right here. So this is the equivalent fractions assignment. So you're going to draw bar models on paper or use this right here, the interactive fraction wall, to prove or, di or disprove that the following pairs of fractions are equivalent. So uh, the first question, are the fractions below equivalent? Select true or false. 4 6 is equal to 4 eighths. True, they are equivalent. False, they are not equivalent. Uh, <clears throat> you can go the bar models on paper. Or we can come here. The first one is 4, 6. Uh, so there's the 8s. Looking for there's thirds. Okay, there's 6. Okay, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6. Okay, let's come back to this. Equal to 4, 8. Okay, so now we're going to see if 4, 8 takes up the same space as 4, 6. Uh, there's fourths. I left click on it again to disappear. Hey, there's the 8s. 1, 8, and I need. Four eights. Three, four. No, they're not. Four six is much bigger. So I would select false. They are not equivalent. What fraction? Now, what strategy did you use to figure out the answer? I used the fraction interactive wall. Or if you did bar models on paper for this one, I drew the bar models on paper. All right, and then there's a couple more for you to do on here.